Hey guys, what's going on? We're gonna have a closer look at this piece right here. This is the Pioneer DDJ SR. Now, I picked up this machine because I wanted to use something at the club that was easy, lightweight, great sound card, and I could run Virtual DJ with. I can run Virtual DJ with this, although it is native for Serato DJ. I've got a video on how to set it up for Virtual DJ, so have a look in the description of this video for that link if you wanna know how to do that. But I'm using VDJ because I own it, and it does video well. I don't own Serato DJ with video yet. Maybe we'll try it down the road sometime. But for now, using VDJ, and I'll show you some of the features on this thing that I'm gonna use and some I'm not gonna use, but it actually does. There's a lot more. This is just a little sampling. Now this is a USB powered machine, so you just plug it into your computer and you've got power. There's no need to have any kind of wall ward or anything like that. USB is here. You have your master outs left and right. These are balanced outs, but they are the quarter inch variety like you'd see on a headphone plug. And it really doesn't make any difference. What I've done is I've gotten some quarter inch to XLR female plugs. So like pigtails that hang out the back so I can plug into the club system. Really easy. They're only about three foot long cables, but they work out fine. Now right here you have an option of selecting either a master or booth for these RCA outs. So if you're playing at home, ring it through a home stereo, whatever, you can just run the RCA outs into that. Flick the switch to master. Alternately, if you want to use a monitor in the booth, you just flick this to booth and use these RCA outs to go to your monitor. And your booth level adjustment is right here on the back. And they also give you one auxiliary and it's pretty simple. It's RCA auxiliary in, it right here, left and right, and your level control for that is right here as well. Now on the front of the unit, you notice you have headphones. You can either go the full quarter inch or the mini plug for headphones. So you can do either one. You have a volume control for that. Right here, you've got your crossfader, reverse on or off, and you also have the curve that you can adjust if you'd like to. On the far right, you have your quarter inch mic input and your mic level. It's nothing too fancy, but it's fine. Just for a quick announcement at a club, I'm not gonna have a problem with that. At a mobile, I might want a full three band EQ or even a two band, which Pioneer offers. But for club work, I think I'm okay just with the microphone like that. The features I'm going to use on this piece would of course be the headphones, the microphone, the crossfader, the lines, the three band EQ, the trim at the top, that kind of stuff, but it has a lot more. There's a scroll feature right here, it's a knob you twist and turn, it takes you through your folders and libraries. It's a little different in Serato than it is in VDJ that I'm using, but you basically find the folder you want, then you click on it, just press down, and it gives you even more options in that folder. You find subfolders or whatever you'd like or even tracks perhaps and then as soon as you get into a subfolder that you you want to work with it takes you into kind of the the I guess library column where you can flick through and find the track you want once you find the track you want you can hit the load button either on the right or the left or the right deck depending on what deck you want to go in and it goes into that deck it's just that easy there's a lot of cool stuff on here there's a filter that's pretty good there's a high filter and a low filter. Of course, it's full cut on the EQs too. But you can just grab that filter if you want to. Now, here, check this out. If I want to run this back, for instance, with the platter, and if I want to create a hot cue, let's say I want it right there, then I can just uh, put my cursor right there on virtual DJ and create a hot cue point so or alternately I can grab those hot cues anywhere I want I can create them wherever I want in the track several of them so moving right along yes this is actually a platter somebody said does it just make a scratch sound or is it the actual scratch of the tune it's just like a turntable so you just run it backwards just like a regular old turntable. There's some cool features here too, like a roll. Check this out. Also, there's a slicer. Grabs the, see? It's showing you where the track is here on the slicer. There's 
also a sampler. You can load whatever you want into the VDG sampler. That's what I'm using today. Watch your volumes on these. So like, put your hands up in the air. You have a volume control right here for that. You have several. You can play them all at once if you want to. Turn them off and adjust the volumes however you want them. Now you can absolutely grab effects. It's a little different than what you might be using with Serato DJ, which is what this is supposed to be needed for, but you can do effects. We'll turn it on. Run reverb right now. And we'll use these buttons right here to flip through the effects. Phaser, whatever you want. There's a quick look at my new Pioneer DDJ SR. I'm not gonna use all the features on this thing, and I didn't show you all the features on this thing, but it does indeed have features. And it's gonna be fun for a lot of people who are looking for a controller, and they want a great sound card and really sweet audio outs, which is why I go Pioneer. I like the sound quality. So if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section down here below. Until next time, practice and enjoy.